So we are at the last and the final stop in our spring boot unit testing world and we still need to unit test our controllers. Our controllers are oftentimes some of the most changing parts of our code. Uh, they are the piece of code that is going to be the first thing that users notice if something is wrong and it's really important that we test our unit controllers. And we do so with this simple thing called mock NVC. Mock NVC is just a tool that makes it really easy for us to perform get, post, delete, and update actions on our actual controllers in a test environment. So what happens is we use this mock NVC to perform some type of get post update or delete request. And then in return, mock NVC is going to give us back this thing called a response object or a result actions object, sometimes response object, sometimes result action object. But either way, it's going to give us this object back that we can then test to make sure that it is indeed correct or we are receiving the correct information back. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead in here and let's actually start implementing it. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is we need to create our controller folder. And we're gonna go down here. I went into package and I'm just going to add a controller package within this API folder right here. And within our folder that we just created, I'm gonna go into here and I'm going to create a Pokemon controller uh, test folder. So Pokemon controller test. Okay, and these are going to be a little bit different. We need to add this annotation called web, web MVC test. So web MVC test is going to make it so that we can actually put our MVC controllers. These aren't actually MVC controllers. These are web API controllers, um, but they still call it the web MVC test because you're kind of test you're kind of testing out a controller. You're testing out a view. So I'm, I'm assuming that's why they call that that. Not exactly 100% sure why though. Okay, so next we're gonna go auto configure. So we go auto configure mock MVC, and you need to add these because if you don't add that, it will automatically try, this will basically circumvent spring security so that we don't have to worry about actually adding uh, tokens to our controller. So we're gonna go into here and then we're going to extend with and we are going to go Makito extension dot class. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to bring in mock MVC. So we're going to go in here. We're going to have auto wired and then we'll have private and we'll say mock MVC or we're going to say mock MVC right here. Then we want to go down. We want to add a mock bean. And this mock bean is going to make it so that we can easily bring in our Pokemon service. So we're gonna go Pokemon service. We're gonna go Pokemon service, just like that. Okay. Then bring in alt and let me see here. So import class and we'll have that. Next thing we want is we want an object mapper um, if we had to map all these objects over, it would probably take forever and uh, Object Mapper just plugs really easily into Mach MVC and makes it so that we don't have to actually map our objects and map them when we actually send data up to the API endpoint, which you guys will see here in a second. Okay, so first thing, we're going to need to get out our actual controller so that we can look at them and see what we need to test. So just for the sake of easiness, and we can knock out a really easy example, I'm going to test the create Pokemon right here. You could test the get uh, Pokemons, but I'm just gonna test the create first because it's the easiest and it's better to work on the easier ones first before we start getting into the harder ones. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go public, and I'm gonna say void Pokemon controller is equal to create Pokemon and we're going to return created. So we'll say return created. Then we are going to throw an exception. So we'll say throw an exception and we'll go down here. So throws exception. And I'm also going to bring in the init. So we'll go into our actual uh, init from our previous one up here. And I'm just going to copy all of this into 
the Pokemon controller test so that we don't have to bring in any of our DTOs like this. We can just go ahead and paste them in there. And we can do, if we're not using any of them, we can just delete them. Okay, so first is I'm going to go given. So we need to, let's see what we need to mock. We need to mock this create Pokemon right here. This is pretty much our only actual uh, method that we're going to have to mock. So I'm just going to go into here. I'm going to go Pokemon service. I'm going to go create Pokemon and pass in argument. So we're going to have to have some argument matchers. So argument matchers dot any. So that looks good. Then what we will do is we'll say, so bring this in BDD given and the actual one that we want is BDD Makido. Okay, so go back down here. I'm gonna say will answer. So will answer and we'll say invocation is going to be invocation.get argument. So say get argument and we'll have zero. Okay, so that looks good. Next thing that we want to do is we want to actually bring in our mock NVC. So we're gonna go here, we'll say result actions. Then we will have response. So let's say response is equal to mock NVC dot perform post. It's going to, we're gonna say API Pokemon. This is like the actual API endpoint that we need to hit and I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's create. So this is the actual API endpoint that we're going off of and we need to bring this in. Okay, so last thing is because these are uh, API endpoints, we need to add a couple more things. So going to here, we'll say, and I'll bring this down just so that it looks a little bit better. And we'll say content type, so dot content type is going to equal media type application JSON. Then we'll go back down here and we'll do the same exact thing. So it'd be content and the actual content that we're going to uh, pass to it is going to be the object mapper and we're gonna write value as string and we're just gonna pass in our Pokemon DTO so that we can just turn it into a string and not have to actually worry about any type of serialization or anything. Okay, so we go down here, then we're gonna take our response that we got and we're going to and expect mock MVC. So let's say mock MVC in result matchers. So let's say result matchers dot status. Dot is created just like that and mock MVC this is supposed to be mock MVC result matcher so we'll go mock MVC result matchers dot status dot is created and we've got this pretty much set up let's see if we can go ahead and run it okay and it's saying URL should start with a path or be a complete URL so I'm going to add just a URL right here and that should pretty much handle it so I'm going to go here and hopefully that fixes it. And we've got our green. We've got our first test set up. We've gotten uh, our actual init set up. We are pretty much ready to go. That's gonna be a good video stopping fo point for today. After the next couple of videos, we will dig in and finally finish up the rest of these controllers. Hope you guys like this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.